Let's convert between data types and let's see what casting is. All right, welcome back to the Java introduction here for Minecraft and Hightail modding. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at asting. Now, in theory, casting is actually a fairly straightforward thing where you basically convert a particular data type to another data type. Now, we've not seen the, let's say, more complicated data type that we can also then define ourselves. We will see those in a later tutorial. For the time being, however, we do have, well, an integer and a float, for example. I just have this prepared already. We have a loan of, let's say, $750, let's say, and an interest rate of 0.05 or in you know percentage terms 5.25 percent which should make sense in this case and what we can do is we can say well what is the actual interest that we have to pay now first of all let's put this in a float variable right so the interest is going to be the loan uh, the loan times the interest rate now what you will see is that this just works right and that's kind of curious because this is an integer and this is a float so you might be saying, well, that, that's that's kind of weird. Well, well, how can you do this, right? And let's just out print this out and let's just see what the interest here is. The interest here is at 39.37. So overall, that's actually fairly straightforward. Now, the interesting thing is that this integer basically automatically gets converted into a float. So what happens is that basically this happens in the background here. So now this is explicit before it was an implicit S. So that's sort of the difference here. Um, some, well, you can, you know, some things just work implicitly and then some don't. So for example, um, if you go from a data type that has less information, right? So loan to float, that works totally fine. However, if you go from a float to an integer, so if we want to represent this as an integer, then you're going to see, if I hover over this, it's going to say, hey, the require type is an integer. However, you've given me a float. So what we have to do is we would have to cast this into an integer. Now, it's going to say some warning here. We're not going to look at the warning because the real interesting thing is, well, well, what happens if we cast a float to an integer? I mean, you know, the integer is going to be, well, it, it can only be either 0 or 1 in this case, right? So we either round up or round down. So what is it going to be? Well, the interest we pay is going to be 0. I'm going to be happy camper. So if there's ever a bank that says, hey, our interest is going to be, you know, done in integers, it's going to be done in integers nonetheless, because you shouldn't use floats for this. But just as an example here, kind of interesting. Why does this happen? Well, what happens is that when you convert a float or when you can cast a float into an integer, what happens is that everything after the decimal point just gets cut off. So literally just this. So it, it didn't matter, like it wouldn't matter what this is. It could be 1.99999, doesn't matter. It's going to be one when you cast it into an integer. So that's important to note here. Put this back to a float here. And then you can see that this is one example of casting. Then there's another, well, idea where you can cast. I'm going to show this one more time. So we're going to do X is equal to, let's say 50.5 plus, let's say 20.6, just to like really demonstrate the point. And you can see, first of all, of course, that doesn't work. It's like, oh, right. We actually have to, you know, make this a float. Okay, fair enough, right? So then we're going to copy this over. We're just going to print this out just for the sake of argument. Once, 71.1. Okay, fair enough. Now, I can cast one of them to an integer, right? And this, of course, still works because then it gets casted back into a float when calculating. However, we've already cut off the 0.5. Therefore, when we run this again, 70.6. So the converting or the casting, um, it depends on sort of which way you go, right? That's the idea. Uh, do you have more information afterwards or less information? And that's sort of the gist of this. We're going to be seeing some of this in the future as well. So we will have to cast some stuff. And when we get to, you know, classes, which basically is sort of defining our own data types, then we're going to see well, some more interesting stuff with this. But that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.